Welcome to our introduction to Tableau. In this first lesson, we're going to be going over the pros and cons of Tableau, the overall Tableau product line, some key terminology, and a brief overview of Tableau desktop. And one of the most important key things to remember throughout all of this training is Tableau desktop is great for data visualization. So visualizing your data, telling a story with your data, not just displaying raw data. So the pros of Tableau, it's completely interactive. You're telling a story, you're giving end users the ability to filter and step through from the highest possible level all the way down to the lowest level. And this is all happening in real time. It's completely self-service. So you don't need to have an IT team prepping the reports for you, maintaining the back end of the system. It's completely self-service. You don't need to put in a request for a modification in your report. You simply make it yourself. Going off of the self-service, Tableau is very agile. So agile is a pretty big buzzword nowadays, which means you're able to iterate throughout your entire project and see immediate value and results based on the changes you're making. Tableau has an extremely short learning curve. Right out of the box, Tableau is designed to enable you to build beautiful dashboards. Obviously over time, your skill set will grow and you'll be able to make better, more informative dashboards. Compared to other tools, Tableau is very high performing. Tableau has a proprietary data source type called a Tableau Data Extract. And the data extract allows you to take all of the load off of the database systems and store that data in a file, the TDE file. And it's column based, which means it takes up much less storage and it's way faster than traditional road based databases. Tableau is real time. When you're connecting to your data using a live connection, if something changes in the underlying source, it's immediately reflected in your Tableau report. But do keep in mind that if your database is slow, it's going to be slow in Tableau when you're reading data. They even allow you to package your data inside of your workbook and then share that with other users. Some of the cons of Tableau, it is not a data warehouse replacement. Tableau is merely a tool that allows you to visualize your data. So it's important to know that your visualizations are only going to be as good as the underlying data that you're using. If you're trying to perform a ton of calculations in Tableau and to transform your data, you probably need to have another layer in your data flow that takes care of all of that because Tableau is not very good at that. That is not the strong suit of Tableau. Tableau is also not meant for op operational reporting. A good rule of thumb is if your Tableau report looks very similar to Excel, you're probably not using the tool properly. Tableau also has an output limitation based on the number of dimensions or columns that can be displayed. By default, the number of columns that are dimensions that can be displayed in your Tableau report is six. You actually have to modify the default parameter to incorporate additional columns because Tableau will concatenate additional dimensions because it wasn't designed out of the box to really show data in a tabular format. Tableau also does not have any built-in version management. So I'd highly recommend that you manually save different versions of your workbook just in case you ever need to roll back. So I'd recommend a tool like Dropbox or box.com that allows you to store historical versions of your workbooks, either in the cloud, an external hard drive, that's fine too. And lastly, Tableau is not very good at creating highly formatted reports. And what I mean by that is think of a utility bill. It was designed to be printed out and mass mailed Tableau is not designed to create reports that will look like utility bills or cell phone bills. 
it's designed to show you an interactive trend in real time. Tableau's core product line consists of four different products. Tableau Desktop, which is by far the most popular, allows you to create your visualizations. And all of that is stored in workbooks. So if you think of an Excel workbook, you have multiple tabs. That's pretty much the same thing as a Tableau workbook. So we use Tableau Desktop to create all of our visualizations. The next product is Tableau Server. And the Tableau Server is essentially a centralized portal that enables users to upload their workbooks and easily share them with other users. And these users don't need Tableau installed on their machine since they're logging in through a browser. So they're able to interact with these workbooks in real time on a server. Makes it extremely easy to share all of your content. The next product is Tableau Reader. And when you think of Tableau Reader, it's basically a locked down version of Tableau Desktop. So you don't have the freedom to develop new reports or modify the existing structure of a report. You could simply read it. So much like opening a PDF file, that's how Tableau Reader handles workbooks that have been created in Tableau Desktop. The beauty of Tableau Reader is it's completely free. So if you're working in a startup, maybe you guys can't afford the license fee for having multiple Tableau Desktop licenses. You can have a few core developers that build the reports in Tableau Desktop and then share those with other clients that are only running Tableau Reader. And the last product offering is Tableau Online, which is very similar to Tableau Server, but Tableau manages and hosts your server environment. So it's the cloud solution. Tableau Online is very easy to scale and allows you to quickly get your workbooks in a cloud environment from day one. Some key terminology in Tableau. Tableau Workbooks contain all of your visualizations that you're building inside a Tableau desktop. It's very similar to an Excel workbook that has multiple sheets. The Tableau workbook contains the data connection information. So if you're connecting to an Oracle database, it remembers all the credentials. So you don't have to keep re-entering them every time you open the workbook, but no actual data is stored in the Tableau workbook. If it's a .twb and we'll talk about the uh, packaged workbook in a second which incorporates the data in the workbook. So workbooks are made up of three different tab types. You have your worksheet, which is where you're actually creating your visualization, your dashboard, where you're basically combining multiple worksheets into one singular view. And lastly, stories. Stories enable you to take a snapshot of a visualization, add some text, and basically walk your user through your thought process of how you got from an idea into an actionable result. And this is very similar to a traditional PowerPoint slideshow, if you want to think of it like that. The other workbook type that Tableau provides us is the packaged workbook. And this is very similar to the Tableau workbook with one exception. It houses all of your data. That's the beauty of the packaged workbook. It stores everything in one file. The Tableau Data Extract, or TDE file, is basically a snapshot of your data source. So if you have a table in Oracle that contains 150,000 different records, all of those records get stored in this TDE file that's local on your machine. So the read performance is so fast. You're not connecting to any other servers. It's just staying inside of your workbook and you use that to build your visualizations. And then we have our two different object types in Tableau. The dimensions, which are things we're looking to report on, and our measures, which are the metrics we're looking to analyze. So a brief example would be quantity sold by year. So the year is the dimension. Quantity sold is your measure because you're measuring your quantity on a yearly basis. Live connections versus 
Tableau data extracts. So live connection is exactly like it sounds. It's, it's live. So if that connection ever is interrupted, if there's an outage, you will not be able to connect to your data. Live connections are constantly querying your underlying source. So if you're applying a filter or drilling down, it's querying the database every time to bring you the most up-to-date current information for your visualizations. And it's important to remember that it's only going to be as fast as your source when using a live connection, which brings us to the Tableau data extract. So if performance is a problem, use an extract. It's essentially a snapshot of an entire data set. Extracts are great because it captures all the data, wraps it up in one file, and it's not going to constantly be querying a database. So while you're developing, there's no lag time. It's reading directly from that extract. It's not going back and running SQL at, on a third party database. It's all stored right there. And extracts are best suited for an aggregated data set. You don't really want to put you know, a multi-billion record table in an extract file. And the beauty of extracts, they can be scheduled on a recurring basis. So you'll always have the most up-to-date information inside of your extract. And this is very similar to traditional data warehouses that run batch jobs to pull data like on a nightly basis. So I highly recommend you to use Tableau data extracts. I would say 95% of the time you can get away with using an extract. So if you're getting started, make sure that you have the latest version of Tableau and you can get that directly from Tableau's website, tableau.com. So here we are at Tableau's homepage, tableau.com, and you're given the option to download Tableau simply by clicking on try now. And if for any reason you didn't want the latest version, so right now we're currently on version 9.3, if you didn't want that version, come up to the top of the browser here and type in E-S-D-A-L-T. So tableau.com forward slash E-S-D-A-L-T. This is gonna bring you to an alternative download site where you're given the option to download older versions of both Tableau desktop and Tableau server. So why exactly would you wanna download an older version of Tableau? You always want the latest and greatest, right? Well, let's say your organization is currently on Tableau server 9.2. What that means is if you're running 9.2 at your current organization for Tableau server and you were to install Tableau desktop 9.3, you would be unable to publish your workbooks to your organization's Tableau server, which is currently on 9.2. This is because in version 9.3, Tableau introduced new features that didn't exist when server 9.2 came out. So there's obviously some new functionality that Tableau server can't yet accept. If that's the case, just pop on over to version 9.2 and download one of these seven different releases. As long as it's 9.2, the last part does not matter. These are the major releases, and you can see how the major and minor releases are separated by a period. And Tableau has releases all the way back to version 8.x. Next up, let's take a look at the data sources that Tableau can connect to. Go to support, desktop support, and over on the right hand side we have these quick links for drivers and activation. Go ahead and click on that. And if for any reason you can't connect to a database that your organization's using, simply download one of these drivers that supports that database Tableau connection. And it's available for the client machine on both Mac and Windows. And Tableau can pretty much connect to almost anything. 
And if for any reason you're not seeing your database here, there's a very good chance that your vendor provides an ODBC connection, which allows you to bridge that gap and connect immediately to your database. When you're using an ODBC connection, oftentimes Tableau limits some functionality. For example, you may not be able to create data extracts and you must always connect to that data live. So if you still haven't downloaded the latest version of Tableau, just go to their homepage, try now. Download free trial. And make sure to select the right version. Tableau can normally detect what you're running for your operating system, so it'll automatically start downloading the proper file for you. Once your download completes, we'll move ahead and begin installing Tableau. Locate where you saved your Tableau desktop installer and double click to begin the installation process. The Tableau desktop installation process is very straightforward. Tableau does all the work for you on the back end and you can monitor the status during the installation. And this process normally takes around five minutes to fully install. Once the installation has completed, you'll be prompted to select a trial or activate your account. So if you already have a paid subscription with Tableau for a Tableau desktop license, then just go ahead and enter that license key in now. Otherwise, choose start trial. And this will give you a 14 day period where you can test drive the product. And then just in enter in all of your information so Tableau understands who you are and why you're using their product. And that's pretty much it. You've now installed Tableau Desktop and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section of this training, which goes into detail on how to connect to data using Tableau Desktop.